Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about the best jobs to get as a 16 to 18 year old in the UK. Um, in this video I'm going to go through the different job ideas um, in the different industries. I'm going to talk about the wage per an hour um, and I'm going to go over and what I think is the best job to get as a 16 to 18 year old. So let's get straight on to the video. So the first thing we need to know is what is the minimum wage 16 to 18 year old. So the time of shooting this is 2021 um, and the minimum wage is £4.35 for anyone that's 16 to 18. So I'm going to start off with a few jobs that you've probably heard of before then I'm going to get into the end of the video that it's probably less likely you realise that 16 to 18 year olds can do these jobs. So the first job is working in a restaurant. Um, now you've probably heard of maybe some of your friends have got restaurant jobs but restaurant jobs they usually pay minimum wage that's about £4.35 um, but I've been told by a few of my friends that with tips you can get a few quid an hour so it can almost bring it up to sort of £6, £7 an hour and if you work an evening then that makes quite a, a nice earning. The skills required for this is really basic, you don't need to do any prior training and they give you the training you need. So that's a great option if you're 16 to 18. So the next job that I'm going to go on to is working at a theme park. Now not all of us do have theme parks locally, I personally do and I know they take on a lot of 16 to 18 year olds but the wage for this that you get paid per an hour is usually it's the minimum wage £4.35, about £5 an hour. Um, now they usually give out longer shifts so they usually give out full days in the summer so this can add up, you know, you work six hours, you get paid £30 and it's, it's quite a nice little earner um, to get. So the next one we're going to go on to is working as a sports coach. So a lot of different places like gymnastics clubs, if you look at your background and think what have you done, you know, what did you do quite well in? Um, so if you're rugby, if you're into football, uh, lots of local clubs will take on younger people. Um, to help coach the younger sessions. So if you're into your football, you really like football, you know, get in touch with your local football clubs. Um, so moving on to sort of the, the more better paid jobs, you're looking at your supermarkets then. So places like Asda and Tesco do take on 16 to 18 year olds and they pay really well. Um, so they pay between sort of six pound, I think it's about six pounds 20 and then after training it's about seven pounds per an hour now the skills involved in this is normally you know you stack in shelves but you don't need many you don't need any qualifications to you know it, it does definitely help on your application the only other issue is working in supermarkets is it can be quite competitive so it definitely helps having different you know different achievements on your personal statement or your cv um, and it does help if you have a few qualifications on there like your gcse's if you if, you, if you've got them um, so we're going to move on to sort of my personal favourites now. So my personal favourite, what I did as a 16 year to 18 year old was I got qualified as a lifeguard. Lifeguard jobs tend to not be as competitive as the things like supermarket and bar jobs <coughs> because it requires you to get qualified. Now the qualification is £250 up front but this is a very small investment and you know I earned that back within a week of working. Um, at my lifeguard job. I'm not the best swimmer, I can swim you know fairly well but I'm not the best swimmer by all means. Um, it's more learning the fundamentals that they teach you all through the course and I think everyone passed on my course. So you know if you can swim fairly well I really recommend this to you. It can be a great summer job. Um, we're now going to move on. The next job is a swim teacher. So this is after you've got your pool qualification. You can then become a swim teacher and swim teachers are on anywhere from £10 to sort of £15 an hour, depending on your qualification. It definitely does go up from there, but this is sort of in that age bracket of 16 to 18 year olds. So I really recommend start with your, with your lifeguard qualification. Do that for a year when you're about 17, then try and get qualified as a swim teacher. Uh, once again you do have to pay for the course but sometimes your employer will pay for your course for you. So my personal favourite job, so this is the last one, is the RNLI. Now this still stays in the bracket of being a lifeguard um, but the pay is exceptional for this. So you're looking at somewhere between sort of £9 to £12 an hour being an RNLI lifeguard. It's a lot more physical than the pool lifeguard but the results are 
you know, you're getting paid more for that. Um, it's also an amazing experience. You spend most of your time, you know, out on the beach, on the quad bikes, in the watchtower, on the boats. So it's a great experience. It requires training, but they provide most of the training for you. I think there is an upfront cost of £50, um, but once once you pay that, you then get the rest of the training for you. So it is cheaper than becoming a pool lifeguard. So I hope you found this video useful, guys. If you have any questions, please link them in the comment below. Um, we're lo I'm looking to get 10 subscribers by the end of the week. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it'd be much appreciated. Thanks very much. See ya. Bye-bye.